Non-governmental organizations and civil society groups have kicked against the NGO regulatory bill which has passed a second reading at the National Assembly. They believe it will limit freedom of thought and expression. TVC News' Ola Awaka has the details. Hashtag no NGO bill is what these representatives of non-governmental organizations and civil society groups have adopted to kick against the NGO regulatory bill. Sponsored by Deputy Majority Leader of the House of Representatives, Honorable Buba Jibril. At this national dialogue, participants said they are against the bill which has already passed first and second reading and is now at committee stage. When you have legislation that seeks, for example, to require organizations to re-register every two years, you cannot but be left asking the question, why would you require me to renew my citizenship of this country every two years? So this uh, mischievous clause, which seeks to every two years to decide who can be deregistered, clearly is anti-democratic. NGOs must now begin to be seen as development partners, working with government, working with every sector in the society to bring about growth and development and prosperity and the good of all. NGOs must not be seen as enemies of the state or enemies of the government or enemies of any sector. They argue that it constitutes a deliberate violation of the guarantees of freedom of thought, opinion and expression. In terms of our thoughts on the bill, we are all unanimous in saying that the bill has to die. Uh, it is not fit for our purpose. It negates all international standards around our work. Um, it's against our right to association, our right to assembly. It doesn't give us a voice. We will be shut down and will not be able to hear our voice. So we need you to get rid of it totally. And then within ourselves, let's sit down, form a quorum and have specific regulations that would not stifle our civil rights. Going forward, they believe it is high time NGOs began to regulate their activities to curb excesses rather than regulation from the government. NGOs exist to help the government solve social problems. And so if we do more in terms of trying to clamp NGOs, then we wouldn't be as effective. And in order for us to be effective and do our work, yes, we need standards, but we can do it ourselves. Civil society itself must now wake up to its responsibilities of ensuring that it becomes legitimate, transparent, and accountable to its stakeholders. Nigerians look forward to a resolution between the non-governmental organizations and the National Assembly on the NGO regulatory bill, which will have a positive effect on the society. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.